It is a laborious process, but it is running like clockwork at the Baltimore County Board of Elections. The manual recount of nearly 88,000 Democratic primary ballots now underway it comes at the request of County Executive Candidate Jim Brochin, who lost the Democratic nomination to Johnny Olszewski by just nine votes. This is ground zero for, uh, for proof that every vote counts. Some 50 miles south in Annapolis, same goal, a joint legislative hearing on the MVA coding flub, an error that ultimately meant more than 71,000 potential voters were not properly registered to vote ahead of the June election. And I want to say that I am personally deeply sorry for what occurred. Maryland MVA Administrator Christy Neiser has withstood calls for her resignation and today got grilled about the MVA staffer who did get fired. Was it someone that, involved directly in the program? I can't really comment specifically on that. State Elections Administrator Linda Lamone up next, confronted with data showing the more than 70,000 potential voters impacted by the IT error had a turnout rate of just 10 percent, well below the election's average of 25 percent. Is it reasonable to say that this may have had a deterrent effect on voters? Uh, or do you, are you concerned that it may have had a deterrent effect on voters? Um, yes. The most common question lawmakers had for both of these officials was a breakdown of the potential affected voters, a breakdown by county, by precinct, and by party. The state elections administrator said she did have those numbers, she just didn't have them here with her. In Annapolis, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.